welcome to Koi Magazine. Three years ago, we visited Brendan Neal for our Pond of the Month feature. Since then, tattooist Brendan has moved house and built a brand new pond, and we couldn't resist coming back for another look. Don't forget to read the full interview in the May issue of Koi, on sale on the 1st of April. You can also share your pond building stories at www.koimag.co.uk. Enjoy. Back in 2007, Brendan Neal and his wife moved into an old cottage in Somerset and set to work transforming both the house and grounds. Last year, Brendan started the hard graft needed to clear the overgrown garden, creating a stunning new liner pond, an area to keep his three birds of prey and a vegetable plot. Brendan has been keeping koi, as well as marine fish, for around 20 years and has finally built his ideal pond. Holding 11,000 gallons and with a great pergola, bridge and tea house, it really looks the part. Using all the same equipment from his previous pond, Brendan has kept his filtration setup uncomplicated. He has a simple vortex system with brushes and filter media, a waterfall, a bottom drain, a UV unit and an air pump. This summer he also wants to add a vegetable filter to keep the water clear. Brendan called on a friend to construct his well-designed sturdy bridge leading towards the wooden tea house towards the corner of the garden. Brendan and his wife have big plans for this space. They're going to add a hot tub so they can really relax while watching their koi. As the pond was only finished last October, Brendan hasn't properly stocked it yet. There are only a couple of koi swimming around at the moment, but all that will soon change with the onset of spring. With a background in art and a career as a tattooist, it's no wonder that Brendan has chosen to decorate his pond with Japanese lanterns, dragons, temples and a collection of bonsai. This garden really captures the essence of Japan, and with a collection of koi in there, will look simply stunning. <laughs> 